Next song, shall we sing? I love to tell the story. As the hymn number. Two eight seven. I love to tell the story. May I invite the congregation to please sing as we worship to our Maker. Golden 
tell the story for those who know it best. Seems hungering and thirsting to hear it like the rest. And when it seems of glory, I sing a new, new song. Shall we all stand and sing, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing? Hymn number 217. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this wonderful and blessed Sabbath day that you've given to us. Father, thank you for giving us new life. Thank you for giving us an opportunity to be together in your house to worship thee, O Lord. Father, as we start uh, our program this morning, Father, we pray for your Holy Spirit to be with us, to guide us and protect us from the enemy. Father in heaven, we praise thy name, O Lord, for the unconditional love that you have for us. We praise thy name, O Lord, for giving us your only begotten Son to save us from all our sins. We praise thy name, O Lord, for your kindness and goodness, Lord. Father in heaven, despite of your goodness, despite of your love for us, Father, forgive us from all our sins. Forgive us from the things that we have done against thee in thoughts, in words, and in deeds. Father in heaven, Continue to open our heart and mind as we worship Thee, Lord. Give us strength physically, mentally, and most especially, Lord, spiritually. Give us knowledge and wisdom, Lord. And give us, Lord, a courage. Father in heaven, we also pray for our speaker for this morning that may you anoint his lips, O Lord, that he could deliver us your message. Father in heaven, we thank you for all the blessings that you have given us today. Thank you for answering and hearing our prayer in the loving name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Amen.
Happy Sabbath, everyone. Wow. Okay. Before anything else, I would like to thank our Lord, our Father in Heaven, who allow us to be here together to worship Him. Di ba po? Okay. At nagpapasalamat rin po ako sa mga praise team who led us our songs, song service for this morning. And uh, thank you. And uh, I want to thank God for the goodness and love that He has given us for the whole week, for our um, for this day of rest, di ba po? Sino po ang nabless sa atin sa unang oras pa lang ng ating pagsamba ngayon? Pwede ko pong makita ang mga kamay? Ayan, okay. Um, let me read to you a verse from the Bible. Sa so Psalms 92 verse 1, sabi po doon, A psalm or song for the Sabbath day. It is a good thing, good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. Di ba po? Napakagaan po sa ating pakiramdam, sa ating paniniwala, pag simulan po natin ang ating pagsamba ng pagkanta. Di ba po? Okay. Um, ngayon po, mag start po tayo ng ating program ng Sabbath School. And our speaker will be Pastor Joseph. And before he he uh, he give the message na galing sa ating Panginoon, let us hear first um, wonderful songs from Sister Linda. So, we want to ask the Holy Spirit to guide us and help us to keep the Sabbath holy today. And um, welcome po sa lahat na nandito ngayon. Okay, that's my prayer. Now 
Happy Sabbath. Thank you, Sister Linda, for that wonderful song. Pwede ba nating uh, sabihin Amen? At pwede bang batiin natin ang ating mga katabi ng Happy Sabbath? My message this morning talks about the importance of conversion. The importance of conversion. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we humbly come before you this morning with thanksgiving in our hearts, for we know that this Sabbath is for us, for us to rest and for us to grow, to know you more, to know about how loving you are. And this morning, Lord, as we study the true conversion, may you open our hearts and our minds so we could be able to understand your word this morning. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Who among you here are converted? Can you see your hands? Thank you. Isa, dalawa, tatlo, lima. And the rest are not converted, am I right? Or you're just shy? Nahihiya lang kayo. Sino po ba dito ang born Adventist? Wah, marami-rami. Sino dito ang na-convert lang as Adventist? Mas marami yung born Adventist. Sino dito ang born Adventist? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, pagdating sa conversion, mga kapatid, hindi po sukatan ang pagiging born Adventist. Because conversion is through the power of the Holy Spirit. This is not being born Adventist or uh, maybe you're just baptized because uh, you like the, the religion, Seventh-day Adventist, but Actually, that is not the basis for conversion. Why do we need to be converted? Bakit kailangan natin na maging converted? Because according to Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, sabi dito, And you, He made alive, who were dead in trespasses and sins, in which you once walk according to the curse of, the, of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience, among whom also we all once conducted ourselves in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, just as the others. In verse 4, But God, who is rich in mercy, because of His great love with which He loved us, even when he were we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ by grace you have been saved. Amen? Ang sabi dito mga kapatid, tayo ay nabuhay noon sa kasalanan, gumawa tayo ng kahalayan, gumawa tayo ng hindi mabuti, gumawa tayo ng kalapas tanganan sa harap ng Panginoon, but now, whose God is merciful, and because of His great love, tayo ay binago ng Panginoon. It's not by our might, it's not by our own decision, but it is or it was the empowerment or the conviction of the Holy Spirit. Kaya hindi pwedeng ipagmalaki yung conversion because actually, hindi po galing sa atin yan. 
hindi po tayo mismo ang gumawa ng paraan para tayo ay naging converted. But it was through the mercy of God, through His love, and through His Spirit. There, there are two kinds. There are two kinds of conversion. Okay? Conversion in justification and conversion in sanctification. What is conversion in justification? Conversion in justification is called the new birth, the beginning of spiritual life. When you get baptized, when you got baptized, then it was the beginning of conversion through justification. So you are now justified through accepting Christ as your personal Savior. Taas ang kamay doon sa justified. Mga kapatid, come on. Are you justified? Amen? We are all justified because we are already baptized. We already accepted Christ as our Savior. But the second one is conversion and sanctification. Dito na tayo magkaroon ng issue or question of uh, question. Ang sabi dito, the work of the Holy Spirit which produces a change of attitude toward God and create a new capacity for knowing God. So, ang conversion ng, ng sanctification ay through the Holy Spirit. This is daily uh, lifestyle. It talks about our attitude. It talks about our character. Because we believe that we're already justified through the blood of Jesus Christ, but the question is, are you sanctified daily? A change of character, it is union with Christ. Doon sa mga mag-sweetheart, I, I, I would take this analogy. Kapag ikaw ay sinagot so sa mga lalaki na liligaw, kapag ikaw ay sinagot sa, sa iyong niligawan, ibig sabihin justified, sinagot ka na. Pero how about your relationship daily? So parang ganun ang sanctification, daily relationship with Christ. Sinagot ka nga, kayo na, pero wala namang communication. Wala namang uh, mutual understanding. Wala namang communication na nagpapalago sa relationship. So, walang sanctification process when it comes to our faith. Kaya nga, hindi tayo naniniwala mga kapatid ng one save, always save. We don't believe that. Kasi kung tayo naniwala doon, then after your baptism, pwede ka nang bumalik sa dati mong gawain kasi you are already justified and you are already saved. Always saved. But it's not, mga kapatid. Because we believe that conversion is not just through baptism, but it is also through the Holy Spirit. And this is talking about our character. This fellowship daily progresses in eternity so long as we choose to abide in Christ. Kaya, if you, uh, if you decide, or your decision to abide in Christ daily, then there's no, uh, there's no question when it comes to sanctification process. Eh, paano yan, Pastor? I... I already decide, deciding na ako ay laging nasa Panginoon. I prayed a lot. I read the Bible every day, every night. Nagbabasa pa ako ng devotional, nag-worship pa ako, pero hindi pa ako nagbabago. Because conversion in sanctification takes time.
Okay. It says here in 1 Corinthians 15.31 and Philippians 3, verses 8 to 15, the conversion and sanctification equals victorious living delivered daily from sin power. So mga kapatid, hindi sukatan yung you're already justified. Hindi sukatan yung nabinyagan ka. Hindi sukatan yung you already accepted Christ as your personal Savior. Ang sinusukat dito, kumusta ang araw mo? Yung araw-araw na buhay mo. In the start of ages, page 172, it says, This change can be brought about only by the effectual working of what? Of the Holy Spirit. The effectual working of the Holy Spirit. May nagtanong sa akin, Pastor, hindi ko kayang iwanan yung baboy. Pero gustong-gusto kong magpabinyag. Sabi ko, kapatid, magpabinyag ka at nang ikaw ay magbago. Huwag mong hintayin na pag hindi mo na kayang kainin yung baboy, saka ka magpabinyag. Magpabinyag ka. O, pwede ba yan, pastor, na magpabinyag pero kumakain pa ng baboy? O, hayaan mo lang. Nung nabinyagan, after a week, o, kumusta kapatid? Kumakain ka pa rin pa ng baboy. Pastor, nakakayak. Nagbago siya. Because conversion and sanctification takes time. Kaya we don't judge person when he get baptized and then parang wala man lang pagbabago sa kanya because change takes time. Amen? Change takes time, takes time through the effectual working of the Holy Spirit. Now, Let's consider the, the prodigal son, the story prodigal son. When was the prodigal son converted? Kailan siya na-convert? Kasi through Advi- ano siya eh, born Adventist siya. <laughs> I mean, uh, pinanganak siya na ang kanyang parents ay may takot sa Panginoon, tak- tapat sa Panginoon. Kaya parang born Christian, kumbaga. But his conversion is not, it's not uh, being born Adventist or bo- born Christian or born uh, faithful in the Lord. But his conversion started when he was in the pig pen. Nung siya ay umalis sa kanyang bahay, in- iniwan niya ang kanyang parents, ang kanyang tatay, at Pumasok siya sa anumang gusto niyang pinasukan, naubos ang pera niya sa kahalayan, sa kasamaan, kasalanan. At nung siya ay pumasok doon sa kanyang amo, nakitrabaho siya doon, it was the starting point of his conversion. Kaya kapag ikay anak ng Adventist, hindi pa talaga i-consider natin yung conversion. Because conversion takes time. Conversion is by the working of the Holy Spirit. What changed at his conversion? Ano yung nagbago niya sa kanya, sa kanyang conversion? It was his what? Attitude. His attitude toward his father underwent a major change. Bakit? Kung napansin yung story, mga kapatid, itong anak na ito ay marahil siya ay obedient, pero hindi gano kapariho dito sa time na ito. Kaya nga ang, ang tatay na ito ay napaka-thankful nung na, naramdaman or na, nakilala niya ang kanyang anak na tuluyan ng nagbago. Conversion leads to change life. But as I've said kanina, yung change ay takes time. 
Ang pagbabago, mga kapatid, ay mahabang panahon po yan. Mark 4.28, in Spiritual Truth Takes Time, it says, For the earth yields crops by itself. Sino ditong nagtatanim ng uh, kung ano-anong mga tinatanim? Nibawa, uh, gulay or uh, flowers. Hindi ba kayo nagtatanim ng malaki na siya? Hindi ba? Magtatanim kayo ng magsisimula kayo sa buto o sa seedlings. Maliit pa lang siya. And it takes time, mga kapatid, na sabi, first the blade, then the head, after that the full grain in the head. Ang point dito is, it takes time, mga kapatid, na tumubo ang isang tanim at magbunga siya. Kaya we don't have to expect those who are converted to bear fruits immediately. Ako noon, after ng conversion ko, actually, yung pagsisermon, kumakanta rin ako, bibigay ng Bible study, bibigay ng inspirational message, encouragement, hindi yan agad-agad na naklaim ko mga kapatid. Kundi, yun ay mahabang proseso at yun ang natutunan ko. But, actually, that's not my, my might, my strength, my knowledge, but it's through the power of the Holy Spirit. Why conversion is needed on stewardship? So we believe that we're God's stewards. Pero bakit kailangan ng conversion? Because if Satan cannot make us to do wrong thing, wrong thing, he will try to get us to do the right thing with wrong motive and attitude. Gumagawa ka nga ng tama, pero mali naman ang motive at attitude. So mali pa rin. If Satan cannot force us to do wrong, he will force us to do right with wrong motivation. So napakahalaga yung conversion. In conclusion with that, the true conversion involves transformation of hearts. By the power of the Holy Spirit, when sinners respond to the conviction of the Spirit by first accepting Christ as Savior and Lord, their past sins are forgiven. So, walang problema. We're justified. And second one, righteousness of Christ is both counted for them and bestowed upon them by the gift of the Spirit. Kaya yung Galatians 5.22, it says, for the, for the fruit of the Spirit is, sabay-sabay nating bangkitin, love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, faithfulness, self-control or temperance. Mga kapatid, yun ang mga bunga ng Holy Spirit at hindi mo agad-agad, hindi ka agad-agad magbunga. Matagal pa yan. May, may nagbunga. May, mayroon pa kayong nakitang tanim na nagbunga sabay-sabay? Hinog? <laughs> Hindi po mga kapatid. Kundi may hilaw, may hinog. So yung hinog, yun na yung pipitasin mo. Pero mayroon pang natitira yan na mga hilaw. Ang point ko dito is, hindi po yan sabay-sabay. So marahil ngayon, love. Next, next year or next month, joy. Peace, something like that. Because ang bunga ay hindi po sabay-sabay because it takes time. Change takes time. So I appeal to you this morning that we have or we need to have the true conversion not being justified but daily we are sanctified through the power of the Holy Spirit. Happy Sabbath. God bless us.
shall we all stand as, as we sing Holy Spirit of God. Let us bow our heads for prayer. Our dear and heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for bringing us together this Sabbath to be able to worship you. Oh, Father, as we go to our respective classes, we pray that you will send the Holy Spirit to enlighten our minds and open our hearts as we study a very, very important lesson about how to prepare for the end time and eternity. We pray that you be, be with us, O oh Father, in Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you. Um, here are the names of the new teachers, set of teachers in Sabbath School. Okay. Teachers for this left side. Dito po sa pinakauna, pinaka first is um, Brother Ben Carolino. Next po, next group is Brother Archie Cabucos. The third one is Brother Sunny Senya. Uh, Dan Cuevas po, dun banda sa may likuran. Um, and pinakadulo si Brother Manny Agudo. For this, um, sa middle po, sa middle part, si Sister and Brother Anne Dagil, dito po sa youth. Ini-invite ko po yung mga youth, kung pwede po dito po tayo lahat sa harap. Brother Jesse? Okay. Um, next, Brother Anthony Antiga. Doon po sa bandang gitna, si Brother Mon Franco. And then followed by Manny Ma Dad, Brother Danny Maling. And then, Brother Nat Palmones. And yung sa pinakadulo po, yung last is Brother Estacio Cano. So, for this side naman po, first is Sister Leti Nonato. And then, next is Brother Eddie Birad, yung sa mga Bisaya. Okay, and sa likod po no, next is Brother Rudy Medina and Brother Joel Rosero. And then next, Brother Sam Chu. After po no, si Sister Eva Capio and Sister Angie Gupit. And the next, second to the last is Brother Nemi Kamato. And the pinakalas po dun sa dulo is Brother Dave Barrios. Okay, new teachers, you only have one minute para po pumunta sa new assignment nyo. Thank you. <laughs> 